we had done this chapter till this point now we will be starting paragraph 3.2 applied history and research in various fields history is about the past events whenever we talk about history we are always talking about the past the way our present lifestyle is shaped is dependent on the historical chain of events when we are knowing today that pizzas and burgers are not good for our health we are able to tell this because people in the past or people till now being overly dependent on these fast food items they have fallen sick they have become obese they have become overweight they have had diabetes cholesterol heart problems and they have suffered from medical issues so our decisions of today are dependent on the historical chain of events of the past historical events relate to various fields like politics social and religious structure of a community philosophy technology science etc the food example i gave is just one example this history can be applied in all the fields that are around us each of these fields have their own history of building knowledge any advancements in technology any research that has happened today is all because of the efforts that had that were put in the past the direction of future development in every field is dependent on the state of available knowledge hence the method of history can prove to be of value in the research of various fields now we will be talking about the examples of such situations first we will take the field of philosophy the history of philosophy helps in understanding the origin of various ideologies various beliefs if we are following a particular ideology in our culture in our religion in our house in our society that understanding has come from the history the intellectual the intellectual traditions giving rise to these ideologies and their historical development all these make an important part of philosophy philosophy always needs language as a medium of expression we are able to talk to each other human beings are the only species on planet which are able to express their views in the form of words in the form of language in order to understand the philosophical expression knowledge of history of languages proves useful so we need to have knowledge of various languages if we want to understand the expression of philosophy second science the history of science helps us in understanding the chronological order of scientific discoveries which scientific discovery was done in which year on which date date wise chronological order we can understand inventions and theories all those happened in the past we can come to know from the understanding of the history of science it can also help to understand the cause effect chain what was the cause and what was the effect this chain can be understood from these discoveries and inventions it is said that need is the mother of inventions when we need to travel faster we invented the wheel when we needed to travel faster we invented the aeroplane when we need to travel faster now the hyperloop is invented so the need is the mother of all inventions scientific discoveries or inventions are often the effects of human efforts to fulfill a need and also curiosity we are curious about finding life on other planets hence we are inventing newer ways to travel to other planets our speed is becoming faster in reaching our destinations these efforts are based on already available scientific knowledge we are not making the same mistakes again <clears throat> we are being asked which lesson we are on we are on page number 16 right now of the history textbook under the subheading of 
science. So whatever efforts have been put in the past, we learn from the mistakes made by people in the past. We do not start from scratch every time. We do not make the same mistakes to learn every time. Once something wrong has been done, it is not repeated. Knowledge of history of science helps in understanding the factors that facilitated a scientific discovery or invention and also its chronology. When did that happen? Moving on <clears throat> to the next subheading of technology. The history of technology helps in understanding the changes and their causes in the field of agricultural production, commodity production, that is the production of all the items, the groceries and other items, architecture, engineering, etc. Every field technology is a must and this technology has developed because of the scientific discoveries, inventions and advancements being mutually dependent on each other. Knowledge of science and technology was very important at every step from the making of stone tools to agricultural production in the evolution of mankind. Later, the advancement of science promoted the mechanization of production. Nowadays, everything that is manufactured is not necessarily manufactured with the help of human labor by hand. It is all machinated. It is all automated. Now, human beings have the advantage of even switching on their cars, their lights, their fans and other appliances just with the click of a button on their smartphone. This is called as AI, artificial intelligence. It is necessary to know the history of technology in order to understand the development of mechanization and the mutual dependence between science and technology. Science of biology, chemistry, physics is always applied to make advancements in technology. We are stopping here. Until we meet next time, please go through this chapter. Any doubts, you can come back to me. Until then, take care everyone. Bye.